Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 178. All the way up here, uh, northern uh, upstate New York, wine country, out here at Goose Watch. And I ran into some awesome uh, old friends that I went to college with, uh, just, just very serendipitous-like. Doctor and Dr. Cobalt right here. Cobalt 1, Cobalt 2. We have a, a male and a female Cobalt. And uh, I'm not sure what the dogs are. But either way... Um, having a great time and we ended up talking about you know just everything catching up and lateral shin pain okay so that's the outside of the shin and we talked about different ways we can mobilize it you know she's an obviously a kick-ass runner I can obviously tell that from here so anyway let's start out by talking about some anatomy and then we're gonna get to some mobilization okay so bring your uh, bring your leg up here for me so when we talk about lateral shin the reason why we talk about lateral shin is means the outside so if we were to cut down the shin to the, in half like this the outside of it would be the lateral portion these tissues over here are responsible for bringing the foot the ankle up and down like such right so we're going to use that mechanism to be able to uh to mobilize the tissue and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take this mobility device we're going to have Catherine walk around to the side here all right and all she's going to do is she's going to get up and she's gonna place her her shin on that like she just did. She's gonna let her weight come back like that is, and then you'll notice she'll probably cringe because that puts all the weight that makes the fulcrum of that weight press straight down in here. But what I did is the reason why I brought her onto the edge of the table is so that she can shake or kind of plantar flex, dorsiflex, or move her toes up and down just like this. What we want her to do is we want her to internally rotate her uh, her foot just about eight to ten. Or 10 to 15 degrees like such right and she's gonna find a hot spot wherever that might be right and then she's going to bring her toe up and down eight to ten times she's gonna move up a little bit move up and down eight to ten times and repeat that process all the way up and all the way down the bottom of the, the to the bottom of the shin should take about two to four minutes per leg okay in this case she just has problems on the left so that's, that's all we're doing are we doing okay Oh, okay. Oh, man, I thought we had some camera problems, but we're okay. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend uh, two to four minutes basically shaking, right? Plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, coming up, coming down, come on down, and then we'll go up from there. Hop up here, just from there. So, that would be the wrap-up of how we do that. Make sure that we put lots of pressure on. Um, one thing that we can add with Catherine is just... Uh, if I'm going to stay up onto this this area like such, I'm going to have less pressure on the mobility device, right? If I'm going to sit back like such, I could put more pressure on the mobility device. That's how I'm going to be able to regulate that. And we're just really working on pointing our toes and bringing our toes down towards the surface. All right, guys? So uh, if we're looking to mobilize lateral shin pain or mobilize the lateral tissues of the shin and reduce lateral shin pain, um, that's how we're going to do it for today. Guys, until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance. Say, guys, say bye, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow.